When our little girl was born, we got a Subaru. It's where she said her first word. No. Saw her first day of school. Bye bye. Made a best friend forever. Oh my God. The back seat of my Subaru is where she grew up. What? The 2015 Subaru Forester. What? Built to be there for your family. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. University Subaru. The wise choice. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Wednesday, February the 18th. We have two topics today. An MU Theater, we'll tell you about a, a production that opens tomorrow. And then a chili supper and craft sale down in Jefferson City. But let's start first of all with Professor Clyde Ruffin. Welcome to Radio Friends, Clyde. Thank you, it's good to be here. Th this is the first time you've been on with us. It is. Yeah, all those years you were with us with, with Pepper and yes, Friends. That's right. But you were the directing uh, director of the MU Theater production of Whipping Man. Yes. Which opens tomorrow. Yes. It's a pretty powerful production, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tell me about it. Uh, it's a Civil War play. It takes place on the uh, Eve of Passover, and it correlates the Passover with the Emancipation Proclamation, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a three-character uh, play. It's very interesting. It's three. Three characters. Only three characters. Only three characters, in three the characters a returning Confederate soldier and two uh, recently freed slaves. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about it? About Just a little. Yeah, a little. Well, tell me as much as you want about the storyline. <laughs> well, the, the interesting thing about the storyline is that uh, the soldier who's returning is actually a deserter who's been shot. And so he's been um, hiding out. And he returns to his home to find out that his entire family is gone. There are only two slaves who are remaining. The two slaves are waiting on their families to return. And they don't know that their families have actually been sold. So mm -hmm. that's one part of the story. But the interesting thing is that they have to amputate his leg in the first scene, which is fairly dramatic. I would imagine. So how do you do that uh, on stage? That's a theater magic. It really is. So, so people <laughs> sitting out there watching it are going to think the leg, the, the illusion is that the leg has been amputated? Has been amputated right before your eyes. Have you done anything like this before? No, no. Is it a difficult illusion to uh, pull off? No. It's not? No. You look like you're very proud of it though. <laughs> you look like you're very proud of it. We figured it out, yes, yeah. it's good. Okay. Are we going, when, when, when the production is finished, are we going to leave feeling good? Or are we going to leave somewhat depressed? I think you'll feel fairly good because one of the interesting things about the play is that uh, the soldier comes from a Jewish family and the slaves that worked for the family were converted to Judaism. So it's a very interesting twist on a historical fact that very few people know that there were Negro slaves who were Jewish. So it's a very So this entire production is based on historical facts. Absolutely. When you cast the uh, the, the uh, actors, mm -hmm. what were you looking for? Well, certainly you're looking for uh, for the soldier, someone who knows how to uh, um, pursue his objective through a filter of pain, intense pain, because he's in pain for the entire production. Uh, and then the other two characters, they're very strong characters. One's younger, one's older. So there has to be a dynamic uh, between the three men. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is that the, the younger slave and the soldier are actually brothers, but they, didn't, they don't find that out until the end. They don't know it. Yes. The soldier, the, the, uh, the actor that's in pain throughout the whole production, mm -hmm. that has got to be emotionally draining. It is. It I, is. I would imagine it's, it's emotionally tough. draining. It's tough. Because it, it's taking a lot of energy and a lot of emotion to pull that off. Yes. All right. Plus he can't move because his leg is gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got quite an acting job cut yes, out. Yes, he for does. Him. So if, you, if you want to see this, it sounds fascinating. <laughs> it opens tomorrow, yes. th Thursday? Yes. Thursday, February 19th. Uh, you run how long? 
We run seven performances. This February 19th through the 21st and February the 26th through March the 1st. Okay. And the location? Rhinesburger Theater. And if people uh, want to get tickets, it's 882-PLAY. 882-PLAY. You got it. <laughs> Clyde, Professor Clyde Ruffin, thank you so much thank for you. coming by. Okay. Now I turn to D. Rose, who drove all the way up from Jeff City to be with us, taking a little bit of time out from cooking chili, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, you're here representing the Sterling Chapter American Business Women. Correct. Auxiliary. The Association. Association. Okay. Mm -hmm. And th this is an annual event that you have, isn't it? Yes, it is. It? This is going to be our 36th annual one. Yeah. When is it? It'll be Saturday, September the 28th. September uh, 28th? I'm sorry, September, uh, February 28th. February 28th. 28th. Okay. We're, we're just You're in a little bit February, early. yeah. Okay. Saturday, so you're, February 28th. You're coming 28th. up in about 10, 12 days, something yeah, like that. Yeah, about a week and a half here. We'll be having okay. it that next Saturday. And the purpose of this event is what? To raise funds for scholarships for women locally. Now, last year, we had the organization on. You did very well, didn't you? Drink. We, we traditionally do very well with this. This is our biggest fundraiser each year. How much are you hoping you'll come up with? Several thousand dollars. Uh, in the last, uh, say, since 1975, we've actually donated $55,000, 138 scholarships to that's local women. That's fantastic. Yes. So tell me, the, the event is this... Uh, uh, Next Saturday. But next Saturday. Uh -huh. And you will have chili, and this is homemade chili. And we make it ourselves right there in the kitchen. Are the ladies doing it or are the husbands doing it? We, we joke that we have a men's auxiliary. They help us out. Okay. You know. So how many gallons of chili are you cooking? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Pots and pots and pots. We <laughs> huge pots on the yeah, stove. Oh, that I we bet do it smells so, so good there. It does. And then we have our, our bake sale. We bake ahead of time, of course, and we have all sorts of baked goods. So the chili. ladies are... Cooking the chili, mm -hmm. baking all the pies and cakes and cookies. Right. And are they serving it too? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> so you, you ladies are doing everything, plus your your professional business women too. Uh, that's exactly what we do. And then we, you know, we actually will be delivering us. And, and our, you're delivering our, it too? We're delivering for groups that order in advance. We do deliver on that Saturday, correct. So we deliver probably a couple hundred lunches that day. I'm amazed. It's, I'm, it's, I am absolutely amazed. It's a well-oiled well, well oiled machine. I, well, obviously it has to be. So if you're you're cooking the chili, you're baking all the goods, you're serving it, and you're delivering it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we run a craft sale on the side. And you run a craft <laughs> sale, too. <laughs> okay. Mark it on your day. Mark it on your calendar. February 28th, uh -huh. when? Uh, Saturday, February 28th, it, where? This will be at the Eagles Lodge on Missouri Boulevard, 1411 Missouri Boulevard in Jefferson City. What time? Starts at, uh, the luncheon itself is from 11 to 2, but the craft sale starts at 8.30 to 2.30. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free admission to the craft sale, but the uh, chili luncheon itself is $7. And I'll bet the ladies uh, made all the crafts that are for sale, too. Well, we have vendors come in for oh, that. Oh, okay. So. That's the one thing that you, did, <laughs> that you didn't do while you're running your business. We sold also. the booths for that. So. <laughs> okay. Well, our hats are off to you. I wish you the very best of luck. The Sterling Chapter of American Business Women's Association. Association. Saturday, February 28th, the chili supper and craft sale. And what's the phone number? Real quick, call. You can call 301 442 442. 8469. Okay, and they'll deliver. Program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Brendan McDermott, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Bones. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.